In today's video, we are reviewing Grid Leaper, which is an all-out, no-compromises game that takes VR platforming to the next level. With 90 progressively challenging levels and 6 movement mechanics, you would at least think it would be enjoyable due to the challenge ahead. Sadly though, I can't say that I agree. Now, I would like to state that I'm purely speaking from my experiences with the demo version of the game. I do feel conflicted about this because I am torn on judging it just from the demo, which features 12 levels and is missing 2 mechanics. However, it did give me a great grasp on the game, and it's what demos are kinda for, so you know, oopsie. Before I get into my experience, I want to go over a few positives and actually commend the game for a few things. For one, the concept itself. I love it. If I had to describe it, I'd say it's more or less monkey bars styled to 11 and made competitive. Ba, ba, ooh, ooh, e -ha. fuck, got him. Yo, fuck this pussy. In like a cool way. I like these gloves. Are they stolen assets or did you make these? I will kill myself if they're stolen. Holy fuck. Take me to victory, my dear bitch. Any game that tries to push the competitive aspect in the vein of something like Pistol Whip or Beat Saber gets extra points from me. The idea of a global scoreboard to push you is a great thing and I always love to see it. The style of the game is also really fitting. The Tron-esque aesthetic genuinely feels at home and coupled with the music, it has the vibe of what the 80s vision of VR was. Um, any- whoa, hey, what the fuck? Cool map design, guys. Oh, see, now there's women up there, that's awesome. They are- thrusting their tits together. That's cool. Proud of you. Give you a thumbs up, but you can't see. When do I- can I become Spider-Man, please? Also, the level maker actually looks really neat, but I didn't get a chance to mess around with it due to it not being in the demo. But from the Steam page, it looks like a fun little tool. So that's- that's there too. Just within these 12 levels, I found myself getting genuinely bored. There was no real challenge that was determined by skill, rather it was all challenge determined by not only faulty mechanics, like the leaping which only worked as intended 45% of the time. I grabbed that. I grabbed both of those. Oh, fucking kill me. <laughs> but also, the game is missing the ability to have influence over your momentum, so you can be launched into the void inches away from the goal over and over again against your will because the game will not let you shift that momentum in any way. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. This would be a moment where being able to control your momentum would be sick. Oh, yeah, I'm missing it because I can't... Hey, you know how shifting your weight is something you can do? That's something like, like skydivers do all the time, because when you're in the air, you can like physically shift your weight. It's not real, apparently. I also experienced a few genuine game-breaking bugs. Most notably, some of the levels had issues loading in the courses and would spawn me at the very bottom of the world, putting me in a very purgatory-like state, making it impossible to move forward. Anytime... Excuse me? I'm sorry. Hello? I'm 89% sure to sacrifice somebody for the fucking soul stone. Oh, okay. So that was just hell. They just put me in purgatory for no fucking reason. Okay. Thanks for hating me. The mini also gave me nothing but trouble. It uses the normal laser pointer selection style that we all know from most games, but it forces the lasers to certain points, and this broke very easily, making it completely unusable. Yo. Yo, do you actually see this? Wait, what the fuck? Why? <sighs> this is ridiculous. That was ridiculous. That was all real. I also just want to say that the demo didn't necessarily feel fulfilling, if that makes sense. And this is another thing I'm torn on, because on one hand I understand the developer not wanting to put every single mechanic in the demo and leaving some for the game. But on the other hand, the demo is supposed to sell you, right? So you'd think putting all the mechanics in it just makes sense. But then again, this is just me being a bitch, so this has no like actual effect on how I view the game or like the quality of the game, you know? I'm just an asshole. Before I go, I do want to address that the developer in Neon Pink has addressed some of these already. 
most notably the momentum thing, saying that it would break the game. And obviously I'm not them, so I don't know the game as well as them, but I think it depends heavily on what you're classifying as moving in the air. If it's something closer to what VR chat does, then yes, 100% it would fundamentally break everything. VR chat is very floaty and you have complete influence over yourself while in the air. However, if it was something closer to Portal and Portal 2, then I don't think it would break at all because in Portal and Portal 2, the momentum is greater than the influence that you have over your, well, momentum. So all you can really do is nudge yourself in cardinal directions. So something like that would allow you to just go to the goal if you're a few centimeters off, which happens multiple times without fail. Having that ability to just shift over a little bit would change the gameplay and make it a lot a lot better of an experience overall i don't think grid leaper is a bad game even though i didn't vibe with it that doesn't mean that neon pink didn't make a game that people would be able to enjoy i can fully see people having an amazing time with it and i'm kind of upset that it couldn't be me because i was really excited for the game when i first saw it and even with my problems with it i can still tell that neon pink put everything they had into this and that it was genuinely made out of love so i don't want people to like not try it just because i didn't have a fun time with it if you see this video in any part of the game seems interesting to you go at least download the demo and, and decide for yourself because neon pink deserves the support because all of the work they put into the game don't listen to people on the internet guys be your be your own person that's that's where this video ends off if you enjoyed it please consider comment liking and subscribing to appease the youtube gods and that's all for me today bye